Oh, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, holy smokes. I'm here. I'm here. I just finished the bloody Wales game. I haven't even had time to change the jersey. We're underway. How's it going, everybody? I'm 56 seconds in. Time check is 56 seconds. One minute. Bloody hell. Oh my god, DuPont scored. We've only just started. What's going on? Ireland have just had what done to them, what they did to Wales last week. Bloody hell. Good morning. How's everybody doing? Irish fans, maybe not so well after that one. Bloody hell. Antonio, big carry. Quick ball. DuPont and to Mac. Oh, what a pass. Bloody hell. <laughs> Unbelievable. What a start. Sorry, folks. I was literally just recording the Wales and Scotland video, getting a glass of water, and then, geez, there's a try. Started strong as right. April 2, Kia ora, how's it going? Hydra, nice timing. Yeah, I know, man. Oh. They need to have five more minutes between the games. Patrick, man, how's it going? I'll update the score in just a second. I'm just trying to catch up with my notes. Seven points to nil. Right. Great top, says Lee. Well, they performed pretty well, didn't they? Written off by all and sundry. So, um, yeah. I just didn't have time to change. James, good morning, man. Kia ora. Smash that like. Good man. Always forget to ask for that. Uh, time check. I'm at 3 minutes and 30 seconds right now. Hydra says Portugal leading Romania 27-20. Sounds like a pretty close game. Mike, man, good morning. Three minutes and 45 seconds in. It's already France 7 now. Ireland are trucking through these phases. They need to hit back. Hydra's at 4.30. Yeah, I'm always behind. Always behind. So do be mindful of spoilers if you don't mind, guys. Just hold fire like 30 seconds and I'll catch up to you. Oh, Ireland have knocked it on. And Villiers just kicks it clear. There's nobody in the backfield for Ireland. Gibson Park's the first one after it. Oof, 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 oof. James, how did that try happen? I know. Intermac and DuPont have got like a telepathic connection, man. So, yep. Sharp says Wales definitely deserved the win. They did, especially that second half. And now France got a penalty. Oof, oof, oof. A cracking start to the game. If you're a French fan, maybe not so pleasing from an Irish point of view. Blood Dragon says, whoever wins this game will win the Six Nations this year. This is seen as kind of the main game, isn't it? Looks like um, France are going to up for three.
Mike says, Ireland needs to calm down and collect their breath. Yeah. They don't want to be going too kind of hell to skelter early when you're away from home, eh? Just settle. Jaminez nailed the penalty. So it's 10 nil, and we're not even at seven minutes. Next thing that's a huge problem for Ireland, says Sharp. Yeah, it's a lot of experience missing. Risha says the Irish need to chill. They do. They need a good settler. They need to go through some phases. Good restart. Oh my god. Holy. Excuse my language. Holy shit. That's unbelievable. Are you freaking kidding me? The kickoff and Mac Hansen just goes yoink. Boomfire. Pinot tries to get in his way. And because you're not allowed to look around, otherwise you're changing your lines. He doesn't see Mac Hansen just go right around him. Unbelievable. Wow. Ireland needed a settler. They just got it. Unbelievable. 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 Well done, Carberry, says Brian. Quite the restart and quite the conversion. It's 10 points to 7, so we've got 17 points after 8 minutes. Who predicted that coming? Uh, someone was asking who's in my Paul from France is April 2 absolutely someone was asking who's in my fantasy team um, Dupont that's good he scored a try Jamine is my fullback so he's kicked his goals um, I got the Irish midfield I've got Porter I think I might have James Ryan I think I dropped Pino so I don't have Pino anymore Incredible, says Patrick. It has been rather what a nine minute opener. It's been, yeah, startling. You don't usually see this kind of stuff. Oh, Fiku's knocked that one on. Scrum time. Scrum time. <sighs> I said missed nine minutes and you missed 17 points, man. Bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. Wow. France have conceded a penalty for not being in position? Oh. Okay, from it's a previous play. Was that final pass 40? I think it was flat. I think it was flat. Uh, Alistair, mate, I am at... I'll just see if I can... Just in case I've fallen behind. I'll just refresh. I'm at uh, 10.22. Forex says, come on, Ireland. Oh, they've missed their line out. But they've still managed to gather it. Pinot's having to kick there. God, it's messy. Ten minutes, we can start the game again. France have got a three-point lead. Settle down, people. Players. Do 
Could we be seeing the best rugby match? Well, still early days. Ten minutes. If you guys watch the Wales and Scotland game, you'll know that that one was like two very different halves. Oh, they've knocked it on France. Doesn't look like it's raining, eh? But we've seen a few mistakes. Rich has been chatting to a blank screen. I'm not sure what's the deal with that. Not sure. But um, we're here now. Things are maybe going to settle down a bit. Maybe. Wasn't the best pass, to be fair. It was kind of just around his thighs. Who knew the Welsh team could actually defend Richard Mann? I don't know why, but I switched my pick from Scotland to Wales yesterday before I went to sleep. So I got a feeling about this Welsh side. And they did it. Elad man, how's it going? You'll be in a good mood. After your Welsh boys actually put in a shift. Oof, oof, oof. Gibson Park's kick wasn't too far away from staying in either. I'm wearing the correct jersey for this game, Elad. I was saying earlier, man, like, I finished the other game, recorded that, uploaded it, and by the time I set this up, I was, like, almost late. I was just, I don't know, a minute into the first half. So I didn't even have time to change the jersey. Richard, man, cheers. Yeah, I'm good. I mean, it's bloody early. It's quarter to, f quarter to six in the morning. I've been up since quarter past three, but no, nah, I'm good. I went to bed early. Penalty to France. 13 minutes in. A minute, you basically missed two tries, though, right? Yeah, fortunately, I was online just in time to see Dupont go over. Never explained to you, said you're doing God's work. Hopefully, I'm doing all right, man. Hopefully, I'm doing all right. Well, I think like we're settling down a bit now. We can breathe. I think Sean Edwards has changed the French defensive system for the better. Yeah, although to be honest, I think it's the Scottish defence that looks the most miserly, eh? Gotta love the commitment, yeah. <laughs> I don't love the commitment when I get up at ten past three to catch the game at quarter past three, but it's worth it. Otherwise you get spoiled, man. You gotta do it. Can't risk spoilers. Can't do it. Fifteen minutes in. There we go. This time it's secure ball for Ireland in their own half. And it's another French penalty. Brutal. Is that Willems over the ball? The French back row says Nemo continues to impress very big and very quick. Yep. I mean, Aldrete's obviously the guy who gets all the plaudits, but the other guys are not bad either. Jessica reckons it's going to be a close game. Fingers crossed. 
Fingers crossed. This game is weird, says Richard. Yeah, that's probably a fair call as well. Irish need to wake up, says David. The France doing quick plays. They've been certainly pretty quick at the breakdown. It's another French penalty. Jason was doing the wake-up calls when the World Cup was over on in New Zealand. I know, right? Brutal sometimes, eh? Uh, time zones. Both teams are up for this, says Elysium. Whoever wins will deserve it. <laughs> Saying that, come on, Ireland. Fingers crossed, just no red cards. No controversy. Like just, uh, just a good game, please. It said last week that Ireland's lineup looked anything but fantastic. The numbers were good, but the ball wasn't always that clean, eh? It's certainly an area for improvement. Wales were a bit like that today. I think they were 100%, but um, often the ball was pretty messy. Handsome top five wingers in the world. Maybe a bit early to say that. But he looks alright so far, doesn't he? It's a disappointing one from um, an Aussie point of view. I know he's got an Irish mum, so he can kind of pick and choose which way he wants to go, but he came through their system, so they should have they should have seen it. I seem to remember him playing for the Brumbies and he was looking good and then he lost his place to some guy who returned from injury. I can't remember who it was. But yeah, it was a big loss. Janaid, man. How's it going? Morning two cents. Heavy winds and rain up here in Auckland. Woke me up. How's the game been? Bro, 13-7 after 18 minutes. It's been pretty good. But yeah, it's windy as outside. I think there's some hurricane which we're getting... The tail edge of or something uh, cats outside are having a fight as well Brumby's not the best place for a wing all they want to do is maul to be fair I think they've been better under Dan McKellar than they were under Larkham like he likes to play a more balanced game than just Morlin. But, um, yeah, Connacht, in terms of places for wingers to be, is probably a better place. It's lashing with rain and wind in Wales, too. <laughs> okay. We're on other sides of the world, but we've got the same weather. Maybe it's the Welsh jersey I'm wearing. Twenty minutes in. Now, can the uh, I was just gonna say, can the Irish go through some bloody phases and they've just knocked it on? Hey, hey. Cheers, Alad, mate. Says, missed this. Shame the Wales game was too early. Appreciate that, brother. Yeah, I don't really want to get up and stream at 3.15, eh? It's just too early. I crawl out of bed like a couple minutes before kickoff, so I don't have anything to set up. I just turn the, turn the TV on and just watch. Yeah. Oh, and Jamie as well. Cheers, man. Come on, France. Only because my 
girlfriend but come on Wales too all right man two Welshmen being very generous appreciate that fellas you guys will certainly be in a uh, a better mood Five PM. It's getting dark, and there's a storm coming. It's still, it's still pitch black out there, but I can hear the wind. Southern Hemisphere rifts interpretation of a massive Northern Hemisphere big clash should be interesting. Says Neil. Honestly, in the last game, oh, big scrum penalty to France. Uh, in the last game, I feel like both sides took 20 plus minutes to get used to Nick Berry's interpretations. We are Welsh. Our generosity is your thing. Nice. Gus says thanks for all the hard morning yards you put in to make this happen. Oh man, it's always a pleasure to do it, eh? Otherwise, I'll be sitting here like a sad sack watching by myself. So, nah, much better to have um, a bit of company. Oh, the lineout's shocking from from um, France. Twenty-two fifty. Here we go, Ireland. Get it out to Mac Hansen. It's behind his back. He's got to slow down to get it. Mm. Why the lineouts go along for both guys? Yeah, I don't know. They just need to settle it. Get some secure lineout ball. Stop. Stop going long. French is not happy with the tackle on Jaminet. We'll have to see if it was high. Didn't think it looked too bad. Brian says this is the same ref that Ireland had when they lost to Japan in the World Cup. Angus Gardner. Just need to adapt, eh? Oh, Villiers, man. That's brutal. They kick it through. Keenan cleans it up, but then Villiers just drags him into touch. Is he only 77 kilos? That's what my commentary team just said. Bloody hell. Like I said, since Richard, this game was weird. Yeah. Taffy says, come on, France. Does that mean... Yeah, there's only going to be one team with a possibility of a slam after this game, eh? Just the URC update from Johan. Uh, the Sharks beat the Bulls 29-22. I don't think I picked that one, eh? Don't think I picked it. Let 
Lewis says, thanks for the rugby videos. Keeps you entertained during your breaks at work. Good man. Appreciate that. Keeps me out of trouble, that's for sure. Look at the French crowd. They're having a blast. They haven't started the Mexican wave yet, though. Not if they draw, says Richard. Yeah, then there's nobody getting a slam. Makes this breakfast tacos made you sleepy. What? I didn't even have time. I, I had some food when I got up at quarter past, ten past three, but um, I didn't have time to have anything between the games. I will eat after this one. Don't spoil the result in the thumbnail. I pick neutral thumbnails these days. I always used to pick winning team thumbnails. Now I just pick ones with both as much as I can. You can't tell from the thumbnail. It's like a, not just a one team thumbnail. It's got players from both sides. Hugh, you are late, man. Uh, yeah, we're 25 minutes and 20 seconds into this one. It was proper helter-skelter for the first, I don't know, 15 minutes, but it's kind of settled down a bit the last 10. Keller has off, Sheehan is on. That's not ideal for Ireland. Machine's a good player, but he's still pretty young, and this is a big game. Just getting political. What, 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 was I getting political with the thumbnail choices? Oh, here's watching from Brisbane. Three fifteen early morning. Blue supporter go France. Good man. That's the same time I got up to watch the Wales game. Pretty brutal. Calbury puts the up and under. It's a good kick, but Jaminez pretty much got that one unopposed. Too easy. Why are you kicking that, Calbury? Yeah, if you're going to kick it, it needs to be a couple of meters shorter than what you just did. Just drop it just outside the 22. Put him under a bit more pressure. No chance to mark it. Goodness me, Ireland's line at the moment is pretty painful. Oh, but then the French handling is just as bad. Jack Conan with the kick through. Pino eats that one for breakfast. Yoha man, good morning. How's it going? Noel says not quite the classic game it promised to be. Yeah, it was bonkers crazy for the first few minutes and now it's just kind of like, is the French not straight? Yeah. Neither side's doing anything too flash at the moment. I 
Is it raining there? It doesn't look like it, eh? Nemo says French got a couple of gears to go. You might be right. But then, um, same with the, the Irish boys. Can't wait for the URC recap. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do a URC recap this week, eh? I haven't really seen any of the games. And the South African games are really hard to find. It's dry and 8 degrees, says Brian. Then what's up with all the bloody errors, man? And Taffy, yeah, I'm probably a wee bit behind. I'm only at 29.50 right now. So I'm probably slightly behind. So yeah. Thank you for being mindful. Appreciate it. Aki just had a big carry at Intermac, but he's still brought down. Was he off his feet? Nope. Fiku is under touch. Back for a penalty. Waiting for a two is 20 seconds behind me. That's unusual. But I guess it's all over the shop. Nemo's 40 seconds ahead. No, says I'm a minute. A minute ten behind. YouTube does add like ten seconds at least, so yeah. But the fact that I'm streaming it doesn't help. Instead of watching on like live TV, streaming's always slower. I'll let you know I'm at thirty one minutes and ten seconds right now. Gelon his face is on the screen. Who's dominating the match, Kenny? Um, it's been pretty tight. The last 10 minutes have been 15. have been errors from both sides, really. Both mucking up lineouts, both knocking it on. I think the Irish are getting pinged a wee bit more. I haven't checked the penalty count, but it just feels like it. Pano just did a bit of football on skills. That was bonkers. Weird. Don't see that every day. They chucked it to him and instead of catching it, he just kicked it. Is the ball a bar of soap, Richard? That's a good question because sometimes it looks like it in this game. Walker's just been penalised for not leaving a gap at the line out. It's um, it's just taking along at the moment, isn't it, folks? It's just taking along. When does Super Rugby start, Ellard, mate? It is supposed to be. Next week, I think. But Moana Pacific has got COVID cases, so their game's already been pushed back. So the Blues aren't getting underway. So my interest dropped by a few percent because my Blues aren't getting underway. But anyway, I'll still be watching it. You know me. Uh, Junaid, neither side is really able to open up the running because it's just been too messy. Aldridge having some big carries, which is pleasing because he's in my fantasy team as well.
Whoa. Uh, the reason I'm just wowing is because the French just went down the right wing and Pinot put in a pretty bloody nice offload to Moifana. Proper chicken wing out the back. Made Gibson Park look pretty silly. Oh, but then Aldrich knocked it on. But the French had advantage anyway. I would say right now we can officially say France are looking the more dangerous of the two. Oh, that wind is concerning. My house better not blow down. Who scored the try so far, Hugh? Uh, Mac Hansen got the one for for Ireland from the kickoff. It was crazy. The French just didn't catch the kickoff, and he just grabbed it, went straight over, and uh, Dupont got the first one from um, from France. France are lining up the shot. Jamie Day is going to add some more points to my fantasy score. And there we go. It is. 16 points to 7. France are on top at the moment, says David. Irish need to withstand and not let too much go to half time. Yeah, it's actually only four minutes till half time. This first half is properly flown by, although it's not always been the easiest on the eye. Time wise, it just feels like it's. Yeah, it's just cracking on. Keenan, he's going to put boot to ball. He's found some space. Oh, it's going to go too big. It's going to go too big. Oh, that's brutal. Keenan's just kicked it dead. It was looking like a good kick, man, because he found the space, but it just kept bouncing end over end. France score any points here it starts to look a wee bit ominous but we still got more than half a game to go Elysium's watching this in Ireland hate to say it but France look like winning this They've certainly had the better of the last, what, like 10 minutes? But, yeah, man, still heaps of rugby to be played. Enzo reckons France are going to win this one easy, and with that maul, they might be right. They got advantage again. Marshawn with big carry, Dupont, goodness me, it takes Conan to bring him down. Tyke Burn better get out the way. If Porter wants a turnover, he might have got it, but it's back for the advantage. <sighs> Two more kickoffs in Ireland are right back into it. It's been the only way they've like they haven't looked uh, constructing a try at the moment, eh? The one try Ireland got was a bit of a a bit of a fluky one. 
or poor from France. You can look at it either way, but yeah. How's the set piece look for both teams, Junaid? Um, well, yeah, I don't think we've had a lot of scrums. France won what, one scrum penalty. Both lineouts have looked a bit shaky. Twenty-five seconds left in the first half. Germine is lining up a shot. He'll make it 19 points if he can get it. Are we going to restart or is that going to be time? I feel like he's looking at the clock. Yeah. I saw his eyes divert from the post, which is unusual. Maybe he was looking at the clock. But he's nailed it. And it is half time. Jamine made sure it took long enough. Nineteen points to seven half time folks. Jeez, that was a quick first half. Neil reckons it's game over. Twelve points. Don't know that it's quite game over yet. Bring up the stats in a second. Nemo's taking the missus out to dinner. Alright, man. Have a good one. My missus is not yet out of bed. Ella misses the trivia. True. I ain't got the beers on me. It's the wrong time of day. Although I did have some beer like the other day. I just didn't keep the bottle caps. French are battering us, but the refs having a shocker. Hey, what's the penalty count like? Penalty counts three to eight. So it's the reverse of last week for Ireland. Like last week, Ireland were they weren't penalised for ages, and Wales were all over the shop getting penalised. Starleo, man, good morning. How's it going? Halftime stats. Let's have a look. See. Run meters two o two to one eighteen. That's France with the dominant number there. Possessions fifty one forty nine. So pretty tight. But territories fifty five forty five. Are the cicadas seriously up already? Guys, the sun's not even up yet, is it? Oh, the sun is coming up. Can you hear those things? Bloody hell, those guys. Oh, not living up to the hype once again. Deadly. I think we expected more of them in this game thus far. That probably has to be said. They were not really at the races in that first half. But like somebody said, the penalty count's killing them. It's three to eight with Ireland conceding eight. Sounds like the jungle. I know, man. It's crazy, isn't it? The hell? As soon as the sun comes up, the cicadas just get at it. Where's the Gaza commentary? Gaza is no doubt at his place, still slumbering, although he might be up by now. He tends to get up pretty early. Haven't noticed the cicadas as much in Wellington. I guess it's just not as warm. It's bloody muggy up here, man. Been sweating bullets the last few days. Kicking and hates Sean Edwards. <laughs> yes. Sean Edwards is a thorn in the side of the Irish, I guess, eh? 
defense coaching seems to be uh, his thing. You'd love the sound of cicadas taffy to put you to sleep. Yeah. The problem is they get in the bloody video the sound of them. MOC says Ireland can't play any worse and France only have a 12 point lead. That's actually a bright side way of looking at it, eh? Yeah, Ireland didn't didn't fire that many shots in that first half and yet they're still they're still in the game. Alan with another donation says would do more but no trivia no Gaza uh, what Gaza has already said that he's looking forward to doing some live streams once Super Rugby gets underway he comes around here every Friday for dinner so yeah we'll have dinner with him on a Friday once Super Rugby gets underway and we will um, yeah we'll do some some streaming <clears throat> Timothy says, wrong jersey, Mark. I know. I literally didn't have time to change. Ask the guys who were here from the start. I was... Finished the first game, which was Wales and Scotland. Did the video, uploaded it, set up the stream, and I was here with like, I don't know, 10 seconds. Well, maybe 30 seconds into the first half. So, um, yeah, I didn't even have time to change clothes. What can I say? How's the fantasy going? Um, I, I don't think I can... Can I check it on my phone? Because I've never logged in on my phone before. And I feel like my password's saved. Uh, I don't want to use my laptop because literally if I do anything but the stream, which the laptop's running off, my computer would just crap itself. Smash the like button, says Alan. That's always a good idea. Sign in. Did I register with Facebook or my email? No, that's asking me to sign up. Sign in. I'll do it later. I think it must be going alright because DuPont's on my team. He scored a try. Jimenez kicked his goals. Um, Aldri seems to get through a bunch of carries. Stalio said, saw Spain versus Russia last night. It was the most mad game I've seen in a while. Came to the 82nd minute, 37-34. TMO gave Spain a try. Where the player's entire body was in touch before he scored. What? What? Smash that good man. Sighted canvas. Thank you. Simply put, says Kakane, the Gibson Park is not at the standard we need at nine. There are two nines waiting to be blooded. Now is the time to start. Get Casey and Doak. They do need some more game time. <clears throat> Could you rank off the top of your head the Six Nations defences? Best to worst? Scotland, I think, looks the best thus far. Um, Ireland's is actually pretty solid. Although, I mean, they've only conceded one try in this game, so that probably holds true, although they've been conceding too many penalties. Um, and then it's kind of a... a mixed bag between Wales and England. I think they're pretty similar. Italy's is probably the worst, but it certainly tied it up after after last year. And France's has been right up there, so there you go. Simon says, I don't know why Sky Sports New Zealand card does by the penders during the Six Nations then repeat games from years ago half time ah yeah um, what Simon's talking about is we are watching the All Blacks against South Africa from last year at half time they don't get any of the um, they don't get any of the half time shows
That wind is literally quite incredible outside. If the stream ever disappears, you know why. It's because the house has been blown over. Scotland's been the meanest defensive for the last few years. Absolutely. <clears throat> I looked at their stats in 2021 and they've conceded bugger all in terms of like defenders beaten and clean breaks and all the kind of classic stats. Points conceded. Sound totally knackered. Yeah, I've been up since 10, quarter past three. So I'm a wee bit on the tired side. I would have made a coffee between the streams, but I didn't have, didn't have time. Life isn't fair. The French 10 is world class and also a good looking rooster. Most of us will be fine with either. He's not that tall though. I'm taller than him. So there you go. Can't have everything. I'm just going to go top up my water before the game starts again. I'll be back. Hope I can have a nap later, April Tui. It's weird though, because I don't, I don't know if I'll, I probably won't be that tired during the day, but then like come four o'clock or something, it'll hit me that I need to go to sleep. Have you read Gareth Thomas's autobiography? No, I haven't read. Gaza reads a ton of rugby books. I started John Alombo's one and never finished it. Um, I probably should sit down and read some books. You get a few insights from all that kind of behind the scenes stuff. Mad that DuPont is only 25. Yeah, I suppose, eh? He's going to play a lot of caps for his country. Go to make coffee. Timothy, I'll make coffee after the game, eh? Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I'll have a second breakfast. Second breakfast. Can you nap with the kids at home, Janae? That's also a good point. Probably not. My house is not that big. <laughs> it's like just down the hallway. And even if I close two doors, I'm still going to hear the freaking kids. Don't think Ireland have ever come back when they've been down at half time or not in a while anyway. It's a bad stat for Ireland. Hmm. That's an interesting point. I'm sure there's someone who's got those kind of stats. Russ Petty, if you know who he is on Twitter, is a really good guy for stats. He's probably got something. Sleep out in the car. Actually, Richard, that's genius. I don't have a garage, but I do have a car that I could sleep in. Yeah, that's genius. Just brainstorming. No, that that that's a proper bit of proper bit of genius. Second breakfast. Yeah, man, Timothy, I got up a I got up a I got out of bed and my alarm went off at ten past three. I got up, turned the game on, because the game started at quarter past. By the time I woke up it was pretty much already starting. Got some toast, got coffee, you know. 20 past 3 breakfast watching some rugby it was good so I think I've earned myself a second breakfast great chai from DuPont DuPont says JP it was it was a proper bit of class that's true Ireland were down at half time against New Zealand although I think they've been I think in terms of the play they've been the better team right they just happened to be down Simon says, hello everyone, France look amazing. Whatever Andy Farrell says at half time, he's going to have to come up with some something genius, I agree. Oliver says, who do you think will win? Well, at this point, I would probably be backing France. Not going to lie. I'm a growing lad, is it, Alan? I'm growing in the wrong direction. Oh, and Timothy's laughing at the Lord of the Rings connection. Yeah, second breakfast. What's the other lines? Elevensies? Whatever else he says, yeah. yeah. But most Kiwis don't have second breakfasts. 
Brian says, France have been excellent, admittedly have been on top. Whatever happens, you loved Hansen's try. That was a thing of beauty. Pretty rare. Pretty rare. Right, the players look like they're making their way down the tunnel for the second half. My stream is as up to date as it gets. Richard, who do you think is the best team in the world right now? I think we're at a good place where there's a bunch of teams who who can genuinely beat each other. It's not like that period of time when, you know, the All Blacks were kind of an all-conquering team. They're far, they're a bit of a shadow of that, that team at the moment. But, I mean, France is, like, probably one of the better picks at the moment. I would have said these two teams, to be honest, at the moment, but yeah, New Zealand and South Africa got something to say about that. Was it a genius from Hansen or a mistake from France? I mean, it's a mistake from France. You can't be just letting anybody just get a free catch like that, but still. Um, second half is underway. Taffy reckons if France score next, game's over. Yeah, well, France score next, it's going to be a three-score game, isn't it? So that's probably a pretty good call. Villiers just put Conway into touch after he took a cross kick, so... He's bloody everywhere, that little guy. Oliver has subscribed and reckons I reckon I need a third breakfast. If I get a third breakfast, you'll see me buying a new size of rugby jerseys at some point. I'll be going to 3XL. Hugh met Jonah a few years ago. A lovely fella. <laughs> yeah. He's a big... Big, big miss, I think, in the New Zealand rugby environment. Oh, Ian Henderson is on for James Ryan at halftime. Was the commentary mentioned who steps in as captain in that case? I mean, if Armani comes on, he'll be captain, but I think he's still on the bench. Advancing in front of the kicker is a pretty bloody soft one for Ireland to be conceding in the second half. Uh, any subs from halftime, Junaid? I just saw that Henderson is... Uh, Conway was... Yeah, he was in front of the kicker. That's soft. Um, yeah, Ryan, the Irish captain, the lock, he's off, and uh, Henderson's on. Hydrus is the going for the post. Yeah, Jaminet is lining up a pretty long shot at goal. But he has nailed it. And it's 22 points to 7. So, yeah. It's, um, the job just got a lot harder for Ireland, didn't it?
commentary didn't mention, and at least on my feed, what's wrong with James Ryan, but someone else who's on a different feed may be able to enlighten us. There we go. Ireland have just won a penalty from the restart, so they need to show us something here. Jamine is such a good kicker. I think that's the reason he's in the side, eh? He's got... Someone mentioned the other day he's got, like, the highest percentage of any French kicker in, I don't know, a long time. That was Porter over that ball. He's in my fantasy side, but he doesn't get any bloody points for that. They don't do turnovers. Right, five-meter line out for Ireland. Big line out to France contest. Nope, they set for them all. And it's going sideways. Over! Try time. Man, I don't need that. <laughs> Much needed for the game. Can't be given a penalty away from the restart, man. It's bound to flare, ends up going over. Game on. Darren Mundy asks, have I had much time to play Rugby 22? You know, man, I played the living hell out of it because they sent me a code. I played the living hell out of it to kind of do the review for it because I wanted to get it out quick and I just, I, I kind of got sick of it because I just played so much of it in a quick succession. So I've kind of had a, I've had a wee break from it at the moment. It's just like anything though. If I ate pancakes every day for like four days straight, I'd be sick of it. So you know what I mean? I was just playing at every free moment I had, and it was, um, yeah, got a bit much. Uh, yeah, I'm going to update the score after the Carberry conversion, otherwise I've got to update it twice. Thank you though, James. He's nailed it. There we go. France just did a Wales. We do that sort of thing too regularly. Good conversion. Yeah, that was a pretty pressure one from uh, from Carberry, but he nailed it. Oof. Keenan with a big line break. Here we go. Ireland have actually woken up in the second half. Neil met Zinzan when working at the Marriott in Leeds. What a gent and a ball carry for the Iceman, except not for the All Blacks. Interestingly, my brother hated Zinzan because he wouldn't um, sign autographs. Back in the days when you could run on the field and chase the players down for autographs, he would basically just gap it. As soon as the final whistle blew, he didn't stick around to sign any stupid kids autographed. He just ran for the sheds. He wasn't having a bar of it. Um, Ireland, eight phases, get advantage. What kind of chance that was forward? They can all up for three. How many fantasy points do I have so far? I will have to check a bit later. Because um, I can only use the laptop to log in. And the laptop's doing the streaming. And it's it's kind of a pretty ordinary laptop. So it, it struggles to do two things at the same time. Momentum shifts, Junaid. Oh, yes. Yep. <clears throat> Ireland <clears throat> are about to opt for touch and this this could make it a very close game
What did Farrell say to Ireland at half time? Fence to mate, whatever it was, it seems to have done the trick. <clears throat> Although giving it to Aki on a standing start is not helpful. Slow down ball, no advantage. Gibson Park with the snipe, and he's over. Wow. Game on, folks. It's gone from being a three-score game, and it's about to be a one-point game. Assuming they don't find anything to chalk off the try, it's going to be 22-21. And Ireland are alive again. <laughs> what a day for rugby, Sean. It is right, man. There we go. It is indeed. Twenty-two, twenty-one. That's more like it from Ireland, says Jono. Absolutely. One point ball game. That is the quickest turnaround, isn't it? It's gone from being a pretty soft penalty to a three-point lead, three-score lead for France, and now it is down to one bloody point. <laughs> Blair's watching from behind the sofa. He can't look, huh? Going to be a French scrum, so maybe that's a chance for them to settle down. <clears throat> Do you reckon whoever wins this gets the Grand Slam? Apple juice. Um... I, seem, I can't remember the exact fixtures list now off the top of my head, but I, I do remember Ireland have got a tougher run, I think, than France. But this is one of Ireland's toughest games, so maybe. That's a pretty on-the-fence answer. I'm going to say no. Nobody gets a slam this year. Everyone's going to drop a game. Big Mick, man, all is good, yep. All is good. This game is properly game on at the moment. Flamont looks like he's going to come on. Owen reckons this will be a draw. It'll make things much more exciting. It'd be crazy if it was a draw. There we go. More fun out to Villiers. Jeez, he is. He's dangerous, isn't he? Man, the French hands under pressure. Pernosi in touch. Oh, he's got it back again. Oh, he's in touch now. It's crazy. Who knows, nothing but world class. Yeah, man, both the French wingers are looking pretty tidy, aren't they? Joe oh, Pino just skinned Keenan, man. With the touchline right there as well. He chooses the touchline side, just goes right round him. Lamont and Top of Fenora are on. So, yeah, two new locks for France. Uh, 
Oh my goodness. How the hell did the... Oh, the ref's been taken out. The French are over the line. What the hell just happened? What the hell was that? <clears throat> what was that? Tony had a bigger... How did that ball come out? Antonio flattened Conway. The ref got taken out and then by what a reach. And the ref just looked at the moment to see the ball go down, bro. Yeah, Janae, the the French scored. It was Irish ball in their own twenty-two. Somehow they lost it at the breakdown. The ball spilled out. The French guys pounced on it. The ref got taken out. Antonio smashed into Conway. And then, um, yeah, Bay managed to, to get it from like the next phase and force it down. Crazy. He's missed the conversion. That is an important kick that he's missed. Twenty-seven, twenty-one. The ref still getting his whistle sorted. He's got to change his whistle. Okay. Ireland too sloppy, unknown. Yeah, that was a pretty soft one from their point of view, to be honest. Substitute whistle. Yeah, the whistle's gone off. We've got a new whistle. Yeah, 15 minutes gone in the second half. Whistle had given it all it had to give. That's right. The intensity of this game is too high for the whistle to handle. Kalen Doris is a big carry. But he's been stripped. And Flamont has pounced on it. Oh, but he's knocked it on. Yesterday, man, the ref went flying, and now he needs a whistle change. Ewan says, evening from Scotland, both teams playing at another level. Whoever gets this gets the Grand Slam. You might be right, man. You might be right. Still... Irish front row, well, the two props are still on, but the French one's a whole new one at the moment. Let's see how Bamba and um, Gros go against there. That's pretty solid. Yeah, the new whistle's sounding pretty good, Starleo, as far as whistles go. Oh, more turnover ball. Keenan did well to scramble back for that one, to be fair. 
Kick for touches. Not bad into the French half. I think the whistle is just a temporary sub or permanent. I don't think that whistle's coming back on. The way it looked. No. No, that, that whistle's done. But that's alright. The second whistle's looking pretty good, so they're not missing much. How many subs does the ref get? Yeah, if, if his second whistle busts, I'm not sure what they do. You, you can't bring the first whistle back on, surely. John reckons France might do the slam. They still got to get past Ireland first, but. Whoa, what are they doing? I think they've knocked it on Ireland. Bloody hell, France are living dangerously. Uh, James Ryan's back on, so Hendo's substitution must have been temporary. James, that's quite a pun. Quite a pun. Ireland beat France, then I predict the slam. If France win, they'll probably find a way to lose in Cardiff or Edinburgh still, Stalio. That's the thing about this French side, eh? Like, they haven't... They've got that potential for the last couple of years, but always managed to just stink up one game. So, yeah, we'll see. Reset scrum. Clock continues to tick on. We're getting close to the hour mark. Crowd's having a good time. go clearing it on the blind side to put boot to ball what's Keenan going to do this time he's going to carry Ooh, a little bit of a grass cutter Jalon Igor's got a special power and that the team he supports start to lose as soon as you watch. My mum reckons she's got that same superpower. She didn't watch the Blues at all last year and they ended up winning one of the trophies. Slow ball, man. And yep, they are rewarded with advantage, Ireland. What can they do here? Ring Rose, offload. Henderson, Gibson Park with the grubber. No, nah, they're going to go back for the advantage. Oh, no. Advantage over? Fair enough. Guess they got a fair bit of territory out of it. Rory's from Ireland. Let's see how your boys go, man. They've come back into it after they were looking dead and buried for a little while. A couple of quick fire tries.
Yeah, I think the Irish guys, Brian, asked him about the advantage, and he said, it's over. I, mean, I guess they did get a lot of field position out of it, but usually, if you kick it up like that, you'll get it back. But anyway, I guess um, it's one of those ones where if you play, the advantage is done. Oh, no. Can one of the mods please get rid of the spam? Feel free to ban. Thank you. What's happened here? <clears throat> They're going to check something off the ball. Yeah, there's always bots. They want to look at Gibson Park. No worries, Ella, mate. At least you can do it. I don't actually know how to do it from this one without opening another browser and like I said my computer is gonna crap itself was that our key? that's nothing you can't penalize them for that maybe it's burn I don't know. I don't think there's much in that. Uh, Ronan, we're at 61.58. The clock stopped at the moment. They're having a look at something with a TMO. Yeah. Play on. Play on. Yay, they're going to play on. Thanks for the breather. Let's go. Let's go. Stop talking about it. Let's go. 61.58, I caught up. It just took the clock being stopped for a couple of minutes. If that had been a penalty, that would have been, oh, you can't run next to DuPont kind of thing. <clears throat> Pretty happy with that call. Talked it out perfectly, yeah. I just wish they didn't have to stop the game for that kind of nonsense. That's like two three minutes of our lives we're not going to get back and two three minutes the players had to breathe and recover well if you want to open up gaps at the end of the game you need these guys tired i'm a big fan of rugby players being tired then you get gaps Timo had to remind us he's still there. Yeah, he's got to he's got to be employed. We haven't seen much. I think we had one TMO call in the last game, the Wales game. So, yeah, TMOs haven't been too obtrusive, which is good. Wish there was like Twitch where you can ban users. I can ban users. Can you not ban users? Uh, 
Can you only put them in timeout? So Murray's on. Henshaw's on. <clears throat> uh, John, I am at 63.33. How do you get a wrench in your name? I need to make you a moderator. And then you get the special powers to delete comments and stuff. Okay, James, I will check to see if, um, I will check to see if I can increase your powers or not. <clears throat> if anyone else wants to be a moderator, let me know. I'll have to do it later though, because again, I can't open a second browser. <clears throat> Gardner is in Australia, Mike, you are correct. He's not English. He's an Aussie. He's an English speaker though. Keenan's kick this time not as good. Still in the Irish half. Timo, is they really have the key camera angle you need to resolve a real close call? Yeah. I mean, you need the TMOs, but... And like, admittedly, they've not been that intrusive. I just don't like spending unnecessary time looking at unnecessary stuff. All right, Janaid, I'll put your name down. Hide on channel is banning on YouTube. You've used often on bots. Okay, good to know. Yeah, Hugh, there's a few guys who do the commentary thing, like um, Forever Sports does commentary, Kiwi Lads does commentary. I think there's someone else who does commentary as well. There's another guy, a rugby guy, a South African guy, I can't remember his name. But, um, yeah, I, don't, I, I can't do commentary, man. I'm just kind of having a chat. For the most part, you guys are watching the games yourself, so I figure you don't need me to commentate. Plus, it's too exhausting. <clears throat> John is also happy to help more. All right, man. Thank you, bud. <clears throat> G-Man. G-Man, I think, is more like me. G-Man doesn't really commentate. He just has a beer and... <clears throat> Just talks, right, as a chat. More like a watch along or a watch party than a commentary. Like some guys just do out and out commentary for people who don't have access to the game. Like a play by play. <clears throat> Rugby Guru, that's the guy, Simon. Yep, that's the guy. Commentary is a lot of prep work too. Yeah, man. Like, nah. I don't know if I'd be able to enjoy the game doing commentary, man. It's just too high energy. Whoa. Loose ball. <clears throat> Pinot's hacked it, but <clears throat> Ireland are recovering. Jeez. G-Man has fun with his friends watching the game, Junaid. Yeah. Yeah, his is pretty chill. And he does drink like a fish, that's true.
Murray's going box kick. We've got 12 minutes to go. Still only one score in it. Intermac with a good high take. But then, that was um, Doris with the turnover on the deck. Bloody hell. Jeez, folks, who's going to score next? Somebody call it. I think the sun might be up here. Look at that. Look at that. Sunshine. Oh, France have lost it. And then Ireland have lost it. Man, it's scrappy. Rory says, buy yourself a Guinness. Cheers, man. I shall. I haven't had Guinness in ages. I will, um... I will have to make up for that. It's not really a summer beer, though, is it? But anyway, if it's cold, it's good. Richard's calling it. He's saying, Ireland. France don't look sharp, says Gus. Eight twenty in South Africa. It's seven twenty in the morning here. Already been up for four hours. Dupont's going off, so Luku's gonna come on. Totally random, but has YouTube removing the dislike counter affected my views? I don't think so. Nah, I, I can still see the like ratio. It hasn't really changed. Ooh, that tackle might have been high from Fiku, but he just pulled out of it. David reckons Ireland by one point. There goes Mac Hansen. Jeez, Ireland are looking sharper at the moment, you'd have to say. Who's captain with Dupont off? Dupont off, I'm not actually sure. Maybe Audrey? Ireland six phases. When they don't knock it on, they're actually looking all right, hey? Ooh, 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 penalty to Ireland. They got a free shot. Nah, penalty, back for the penalty. Maybe Fiku, yeah, you might be right. What do they do? Two penalties and it's tied up. James Ryan is asking around, what do you reckon? What do you reckon? He's got a few supporters like, opting for three. Opting for three. Not going for the jugular. Still time enough. Interesting call, but they've got the momentum. It just means if he nails this, then the try will do it. They don't need to have a converted try. Get a move on, Joey. I know you got to get it, but don't take too long. Just nailed it.
Carberry has kicked very well, that's true. Bit of pressure on him, but he's done all right. Can France hold on? Three point game. It could still end up as a draw, folks. Time now, please, Big Mac. We're at 73.06. So just under seven minutes to go. Ireland have got the ball still, but they're in their own half. The wind outside is phenomenal. My house isn't quite shaking yet, but it's not too far away. No worries, Big Mac. Fence that doesn't reckon Ireland go for a second penalty. You reckon next time they go for the try. Now it's French ball. What do they do? Box kick time. Too big for anybody to contest it. Murray just takes an unopposed mark. Interesting call. Quick line out take from France. They want to keep it going. Mac Hansen puts boot to ball. We haven't seen a lot of that, and maybe that's why. That wasn't his best effort. Time left. Yeah, 74.30. Listen to that crowd. Live in North Carolina, even the tail end of a hurricane is no joke. Yeah, we don't usually get the hurricanes hit in full force in this part of the world, but we occasionally get the edges of them. Set in the midfield more, doesn't happen. Well, Dreet's having another carry. They're trying to strip the ball, but nope. And Tamak puts boot to ball again. Uh, is that the wind sighted? Yes, mate. It's blowing my deck around. Yep. My deck's got really old plastic covering for a roof thing, and it's probably about 40 years old. Nah, 30 years old. So, um, it's already very fragile plastic. One of these days, it's just going to rip off in the wind. We do get earthquakes, but not usually in Auckland. Here come the French, and my daughter is awake. I can hear her. Josh van der Fleer tries to get a turnover, can't get it done. Uh, yes, I'm saying deck, D-E-C-K. That's just the New Zealand accent thing. The wind has a strong effect on my deck. And the, um, what is it, the awning? More finally keeps it alive. He years off his wing. Oh, Ireland might have been offside there, but no. Cretan's isolated. Whoa. Doris had hands off off his feet and he's been pinged for it. Did he get that down? Did Jamine score that? Because he's in my fantasy team, just saying. That kind of all started from the Mac Hansen poor kick, didn't it? They got to check that though. You got to check that. Little dink over from Fiku. Flamont gathered it. Oh, um, 
Gardner reckons there might be a hand underneath it. No try on field. Yeah, I don't think you can give that. I think she might have stopped it. Yeah, TMO time, Junaid. So TMO wants to check for a knock-on. Doris with a hand on the ground. It's got to be held up though. I think. I don't think Jamine gets it. I you can't see any ball contact and because it's no try, you've gotta see that ball hit the grass. There's arm hits the grass, but I don't think there's any ball. Richard says that ball don't touch the ground, simple as that. That's what it looks like to me. I don't see any ball on the ground. Don't, I don't think you can give that. Even though Jamin is in my fantasy team, I don't think you can give that. No conclusive evidence to overturn it. So they're going to go back for the penalty. Uh, Junaid, mate, yeah, basically... Doris played it on the ground, so that's the penalty. So yeah, it's going to be just a penalty. And there's no, no, no to talk of a card. Whew. So Jamine is going to take a full minute, I would imagine, and kick a penalty to take it back to a six-point lead. Ireland are basically going to need to restart and score a converted try, I would say. Jamine is gutted that it's not a try. 77 and a half minutes, it'll be 78 and a half by the time he's kicked the goal, if he's smart. And then, uh, restart, it'll be 79. It's already taken 30 seconds. It's like literally right, you could throw the ball over from there. He just takes it, okay. He took about 35, 40 seconds. Still game on, folks. 30 points to 24 with less than two minutes to play. Whew. And France have lost the ball at the restart, so it's going to be interesting in the last minute and 15 seconds. Junaid says the French haven't been good off the kickoff, and it proves true. Beal him with a big carry. France have got to watch their discipline. Oh, that's a terrible pass. That was forward by a mile, Cardi. No. No, that was a shocker. No, Jack Carter, you've been doing so well for Connor. Why? That was brutal. That was absolutely brutal. 
there's 40 seconds left. Luku box kicks it, so Ireland are going to have one more chance. But they're in their own half. Six points behind, and Keenan puts boot to ball. That's interesting. Now France have got the ball, and it's 25 seconds to go. What? Why did Ireland kick it from there? Now France are just going to run the clock down. There's 15 seconds left. Why? Why the hell did Ireland kick it? Why? I don't understand. Yeah. France get it done. France get it done. Man, that was tough at the end. But what the hell was that kick? What was that kick? I mean... Why did either team kick it? Exactly. France only had a minute to go. Like, you can run down a minute. Two minutes, you're starting to get a bit hairy. And then Ireland would literally, like, 40 seconds kick it. I don't understand. I, I just don't get it. Um, Janine, I think it was Keenan, Ireland. They kicked it. They were sure enough they were in their own territory. It was like, yeah, they would have had to go 60 plus meters, but 70 meters, but when there's that little time left, you need to do it, right? I don't know. But it was a close game. Oh, my coverage has just stopped. So there you go. I'll turn that off. Okay. Okay. Well, very close games. Very close. Um, entertaining stuff. My second breakfast is awaiting me. Coffee. And then I'll do a video. I'll feed my children before I put up a second video so I can hear they're awake. It's now half past seven in the morning over here in New Zealand. So, yeah. You folks all take care of yourselves. Thank you for coming along. Have a Guinness if you're Irish. You probably need one after that. But, um, yeah, Six Nations still very much alive. Congratulations to France. You can still see them potentially throwing away, as someone said, a game in Edinburgh or, or Cardiff at some point. But... Anyway, um, yeah, take care, folks, and I look forward to waking up in the middle of the night in a couple of weeks' time for the next round of the Six Nations. All right, guys, take care, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys again for another one. See you.